heard when it comes to discussions around education mention STEM, the science, technology, education, math efforts. And I think that this is a great example of something to show our young people not only the benefits of renewable energy, but also some new career opportunities and possibilities um, as we continue to really promote the areas of STEM um, education within our schools. Uh, our desire that this solar project will serve as a role model to others and, um, and, and really showcase the potential for solar energy in Imperial County. Also, we'll be reducing our operational costs, so we're quite proud about that. Uh, the power generated from this installation will uh, offset 65 to 70 percent of the energy used at this facility, the power consumption of this facility. And that translates into about $75,000 a year. So uh, while we're being uh, leaders, we're also having a, a financial savings. So, and that will enable us to do some other things with our uh, savings. So here this morning on behalf of the Office of Assembly Member Manuel Perez, uh, as Ms. Mather already mentioned, the Assembly Member is the Chairman of the Select Committee on Renewable Energy uh, in the state of California. So this project is one of those, uh, one of many projects uh, that we believe in Pearl County and all our, not only government agencies, but private businesses uh, should be looking at not only for the savings that they will, that they will produce uh, throughout the lifespan of each project and energy consumption savings, uh, but also because of the potential and job creation. So uh, with that said, I have one, one brief uh, statistic that I want to mention. Uh, Mr. Menville didn't steal this one from me, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> when you add up the IID rebate savings plus the reduction in energy purchase over the first five years of this ICOE project, it is estimated that the savings will be approximately $1.1 million. And that's just in the first five years of the project, uh, let alone the lifespan from 25 to 30 years, which is, uh, from what I understand, the projected lifespan of a project like this. So I think that's, that's very important when you look at the investment uh, potential alone. So I'm here today again to present a certificate of recognition on behalf of the California State Assembly uh, presented to ICOE and thanking you for your commitment to promoting and investing in our, in our uh, region's renewable energy future. Through this project, you have laid the blueprint and set a great, great example for others in our community to follow. And with that, I want to congratulate, again, ICOE, and I'm going to ask uh, Ms. Anderholt if she could come up here and receive this on behalf of her board.